In this equation, we have aluminum nitrate and potassium carbonate. We're going to use a bit of a trick to balance this equation. So let's try this. We have one aluminum, and then this NO3, it's called a nitrate ion. We have it here, and then we have the nitrate ion over here. So we just count it one thing. We have our one nitrate times three. That gives us three nitrate ions. Two potassiums carbonate. We have it here and here. So the CO3 stays together. We have one of them right here. On the product side, we have two aluminum, one nitrate, one potassium, and then one carbonate times three. We have three of those. Let's start by balancing the aluminum atoms. We could put a two as our coefficient in front of the aluminum nitrate, one times two. That's balanced, so we have two aluminums. And then we have the three times one, so we have three nitrates times two. That'll give us six of those. Might as well balance the potassiums next. We could just put a two in front of the KNO3, one times two. That'll give us two of those. And nitrates, one times two. Now we have two nitrates. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Let's balance the carbonates and see what happens. We could put a coefficient of three in front of the K2CO3. We'd have two times three. So now we'd have six potassium atoms. Carbonates, we'd have the one times the three. That'd give us three of those. Those would be balanced. Now we have a bit of a problem though, because our nitrates aren't balanced and our potassiums aren't balanced. We could take, and instead of a two here, we could change that to a six and see what happens. Let's do that. Put our six here, and now we need to update the nitrates and the potassiums. So we have one times six, we have six potassiums, and then the one times the six, now we have six nitrates. And actually, this equation's now balanced. That was it. That's what we needed to do. So, you know, when you count these polyatomic ions as just one item, it makes it a lot easier because you're not chasing these zeros all over the place. Either way, you get the same answer, just works a little quicker. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AlNO33 plus K2CO3, aluminum nitrate plus potassium carbonate. Thanks for watching.